Yuho, Dave, I'm really excited to catch up with you all here at Mobile World Congress and talk about all of the exciting news Insego has. But uh, maybe before we get into that, Yuho, give us just a little bit of background on the company. Absolutely. So uh, at Insego, we lead when it comes to wireless broadband, whether it's fixed FWA or mobile MiFi. Our uh, key markets today, where uh, you can find us at many of the large carriers in their portfolio when it comes to MiFi. And for FWA, we have the perfect solution for uh, SMP and enterprise-like. Excellent. And, you know, Dave, I referenced the news this week. I, I got a chance to preview this uh, earlier, but uh, take us through it. It's really exciting. Yeah, so we, uh, we announced this week uh, our first uh, call in the world on our new uh, FX5000. Uh, we're introducing this for the FWA market and also in a MiFi form factor as well, our new M5000, both running the new Dragon Wing from Qualcomm. So, Yuho, uh, fixed wireless access really taken off in the United States sure. and it seems like there's a lot of growth opportunities there, but I'd love to hear from you how you're thinking about the market developing. Great question, Sean. Um, in 2024, fixed wireless access was the most of the net ads in the industry, more than all of the other technologies combined. And that's a statement really on the consumer segment. If you look at enterprise uh, end market, that's all, only now starting to develop. So we see a lot of growth momentum across the uh, wireless space when it comes to enterprise. Excellent. And uh, Dave, I know uh, you've got some really cutting edge technology in your latest products. Can you maybe take us through some of the details and then some of the uh, features that 5G Advance will deliver to your customers? Yeah, for sure. So first of all, there's throughput. Um, we're going to, just going to go faster. We, we specialize in wireless broadband and generally speaking, broadband applications. The quicker they go, the better the user experience. Uh, so whenever you're using a computer, whenever you click on something, the lower the latency, the better the experience. When you're doing video, the faster the video stream, the better the experience. So 5G Advance really gives us a big lift there. Theoretical speeds, downloads of uh, over 11 gigabits a second, uploads pushing nearly four gigabits a second. So really transformational in terms of speed. But it goes much further than that. There's a lot of uh, uh, prioritization we're going to leverage AI for so from the device so imagine here for example with a MiFi you've got multiple devices maybe your phone your tablet uh, your laptop maybe multiple users uh, we can we can do two types of prioritization with AI the first type is on the back end of the network on the 5g site so we'll be able to separate say a team's call from Netflix from your email with Teams, you want, you, know, you want a nice, steady stream, clear audio, clear video. Maybe with video, there's some, uh, with some, there's some buffering. Maybe with your email, you don't mind if it takes another second for it to come in. We can separate all that traffic out, run it down different slices through the 5G network, and use AI to determine which type of traffic to send where. It also goes one step further onto Wi-Fi. These are Wi-Fi 7 products, and we can actually then prioritize the Wi-Fi as well. So not just on the 5G, but also on the Wi-Fi. That's really the, the, the big functional step in our use cases with the next generation. In addition to the uh, product news, the big headline for me is that in Seago, we've always been the uh, innovator when it comes to wireless, whether it's inventing the uh, cradle modem, first cradle modem from a handheld, actually inventing the Wi-Fi category itself, or being the first company that was able to uh, engineer and commercialize a millimeter wave device. We've always been the first to market, and that's what we announced on Monday here at the show as well. We were the first company to be able to complete a uh, release 18, 5G advanced data call, the new Qualcomm Dragon Wing FWA Gen 4 platform. So Yuho, you gave us an idea of the addressable market. You've got the product in shape, so how are you gonna chip away at this? How do you grow this thing? Great question. Our sweet spot today is in SMB, medium-sized enterprise. We're going to grow, so to speak, to large enterprise and also start addressing industrial segments in different verticals. We're going to do that in two ways. First of all, if you look at our go-to-market, which is today a stronghold for us already, we deal with all of the large carriers in the U.S. And that's a key mechanism for us to reach the end market. In addition to that, we have over 100 partners when it comes to value-added resellers. So it's a two-pronged motion where it might be the carrier who finds the lead or it might be the value-added reseller, but both work in tandem to deliver the best solution for the end enterprise. Secondly, we're going to uh, continue to uh, develop our Inseco Connect uh, management platform, which is our software as a service offering. That's something that's essential for enterprises to be able to manage their fleet of wireless broadband devices. Excellent. Now, you know, we've heard the strategy, Dave. You gave us a bit of an overview on the technology earlier, but from the end user perspective, what is this going to look and feel like for them? 
Well, let me, let me give you a couple of examples of where our products are getting used. And so uh, if we take the MiFi space, for example, um, some of it's very obvious, things like business travelers, but it's getting, uh, I say, a, a, a little more uh, a, a specialty in terms of security, for example. So you've got organizations like banks who want to make sure their employees can not only work from home, work remotely, but are always connecting through infrastructure um, that they control, enter the MiFi. Also, we see projects like Harris County Public Library in Texas, uh, where they actually have a sign-in, sign-out uh, MiFi scheme. Uh, so they're able to provide internet access to those who maybe wouldn't either have access to it or, or be able to afford it, um, and really closing the digital divide there. On the FWA side, uh, we have both indoor and outdoor FWA. Quite transparent, you know, the indoors uh, probably the, by far the most dominant of the two technologies. Um, whether it's uh, in uh, quick serve restaurants, so you can imagine a pizza shop, they need internet, they just want relatively simple product to just put on, you know, put down, plug in, get on air. Our product's very, very easy to, very easy to deploy, very, very high performance. Um, then we go to our outdoor. Uh, in rural areas, we work, for example, with Tractor Supply. Uh, they, uh, they have stores uh, very often in remote areas. Um, wireline services can be hard to come by or maybe performance challenged. Um, enter our outdoor FWA solution, 20 kilometers of range. And we're, in that case, we're actually enabling AI through networking. They're doing image recognition within the store and everything with a 5G backhaul provided by Antigua. So it's a competitive market and you've got a great strategy, great product, but uh, what's that competitive differentiation? Why Insego? To summarize, it's really four things. First, latest and greatest in wireless. You can count on us to have the cutting edge wireless broadband products out there in the marketplace, far to none. Secondly, we're uh, completely US-based. We have an engineering team in San Diego, test facility in San Diego, prototyping in San Diego. Uh, our products are TAA compliant, we go through FIP certification. So that's, uh, that's a safety blanket that's more and more appreciated in today's world, if you will. Third, go to market. Like I mentioned, we go to market together with the carriers, with the support of value-added resellers and through the value-added resellers. Not a whole other companies have that two-prong go-to-market capability, which is super valuable. And fourth, maybe most importantly, our full solution stack offer for enterprises where you have uh, excellent hardware, our edge router OS, our Insego Connect cloud management platform, and all of that together with the other three is really what's, what's our, uh, our secret sauce in the marketplace. Very nice, and uh, you know, you were speaking of, of Qualcomm, you and I were chatting earlier, but I'm curious, and congratulations on the Thank new so CEO much. job, but what made you want to come over to Insego? It's two things. The market opportunity, like we just discussed, it's only getting started for wireless broadband, and it's innovation like, the uh, 3GPP release 18, where the devices now become only faster, but also more efficient, that will enable more and more deployment of wireless broadband. So the market opportunity were very bullish. Like I mentioned, we're focused on the enterprise segment, which uh, we think is going to be a great growth trajectory. So the opportunity is super compelling. And Insego used to be my customer. So I actually knew these guys already before, uh, before uh, joining the company. Um, fantastic engineering team, really strong capability, attractive market opportunity, so I just couldn't say no. Oh man, well that's great to hear and I have used the products before and they're great super, super useful and uh, really compelling what you've accomplished here and announced at the show, so I appreciate you taking the time to share that with our audience. Thank you.